In this video, you will learn how to install a diesel heater in a caravan or motorhome. Step 1. Gather the tools and materials you'll need. When you purchase a diesel heater, it typically comes with the following items. The diesel heater, fuel tank, ducts and vents, mounting plate, air intake and filter, exhaust and muffler, fuel line and pump, controller and remote and other installation accessories. There is a few extra tools you'll also need. A drill, a screwdriver, hole saw, a round flange, silicone sealant, and a piece of wire. And we also recommend adding a fuel tank cover, a carbon monoxide monitor, and electrical ducts. Step two, choose a suitable location. Under the dining seats or under the bed are typically good spots. In this example, we will install the heater under the seats. Make sure there is enough space and clearance around the unit for ventilation. Check underneath the van for enough space and avoid any chassis rails, water tanks, or fuel lines. Step 3. Install the heater and ducts. We recommend adding a round flange to protect the flooring from heat. Measure where the flange and mounting will be placed. With a hole saw, cut a hole for the flange. And drill holes for the mounting plate. Insert the flange. You can also cut a hole for the fuel pump wiring. Next, place the heater upside down. Attach the mounting plate. Use the provided clamps to attach to the exhaust pipe and the air intake. Using a rubber joiner, install the fuel line. This will not be required if you are using a thicker green fuel line. Apply a high temperature silicone around the flange to seal the hole. Then slide the pipes through the hole and insert the heater securely. Screw the four corners of the mounting plate. Now, remove the grill from the heater to install the outlet ducting. Secure it with the provided clamps. If using two vents, join them with a T-piece. This is useful to distribute the heat to two different areas. With the hole saw, cut a hole in the cabinet for the outlet vent. Attach the ducting to the vent. Repeat the process if using a second vent. Note that the inlet side doesn't need a vent as it should not be in contact with hot air. Step 4. Install the exhaust, intake and fuel line. Choose a location to install the bracket for the muffler. The muffler must be pointing away from the caravan to prevent fumes from being trapped underneath. Position the muffler and exhaust pipe on a slight decline to enable any condensation to drip out. Use the provided clamp to connect the muffler to the end of the exhaust pipe. Next choose a location for the air intake pipe and air filter. 
Make sure the filter will be pointing to the back of the caravan so it doesn't fill with dust while you're traveling. Install the intake bracket to hold the length of the pipe up and out of the way under the caravan. Secure the pipe in place and attach the air filter to the end of the pipe. Find a suitable spot underneath the van to mount to the fuel pump. Make sure the pump is no more than 2 meters away from the fuel tank. Use the provided pump holder and slide in the pump. Insert the rubber joiners on each end to connect the fuel line. Position the fuel pump on an angle between 15 to 35 degrees to ensure optimal functionality. Connect the fuel line and add the fuel filter on the other end. The filter should be the closest to the fuel tank. Again, use the rubber joiners unless you are using a thicker green fuel line. Observe the correct direction of the filter. Step 5. Install the diesel tank. To install the fuel line to the tank, you can use the fuel nozzle or a fuel standpipe. In this example, we will utilize the fuel nozzle. Drill a hole on the side or bottom of the fuel tank in one of the reinforced areas. You'll need to insert the fuel nozzle from inside the tank so it comes through the drilled hole. Insert the O-ring to the nozzle. Then use a long piece of wire, such as an unbent coat hanger, and thread it through the cap opening. Place the fuel nozzle on the top end of the wire and feed it down into the hole. Secure the fuel nozzle with an O-ring and nut from the outside of the tank. Choose a secure location to mount the fuel tank. When deciding where to install the fuel tank, you should check the relevant legislation with your state's transport department. In this example, we are mounting it to the toolbox at the back of the van. Drill holes to mount the tank and add the screws. For extra protection, we will also add a checker plate cover. This will add durability to the fuel tank, especially if you're planning to go on many off-road trips. The cover protects the tank from sun exposure and potential damage caused by road debris and other hazards. After completing the installation, connect the fuel line from the filter with another piece of rubber joiner. We recommend adding a conduit to protect each piece of fuel line. Step 6. Install the LCD controller and wiring harness. Choose a convenient spot to mount the LCD monitor display. Attach the mounting frame to the wall and then clip in the controller. You may need to drill some small holes to run the wiring. The wiring harness that comes with the diesel heater is easy to connect. Simply match the connections for the controller and fuel pump. We recommend adding conduits to protect the cables. And connect the positive and negative wires to a 12 volts battery, making sure it is fused. Your installation is now complete. Step 7. Starting up for the first time. Once the heater has power, the controller will be illuminated. 
To turn on the heater, press the power button and the heater will begin to go through its startup sequence. You'll hear the fan ramp up and the fuel pump begins to click. When using the heater for the first time the fuel lines are full of air and need to be primed. If the heater shuts down, press and hold the power button for a few seconds and try again. You can also manually prime the unit but be very careful to not over prime it. Once the heater successfully starts, you can adjust the heat settings. Congratulations, your diesel heater installation is now complete and ready to keep you warm during your travels.